a couple of different squat variations for this exercise. So we're starting with a dumbbell weighted sumo squat, and then we're going to change it up and work some fast paced squats as well. So with the sumo squats, you can see that I've got nice wide footing and that my toes are pointing out. Now you want to make sure your knees are right on top of it as well. And this variation of a squat is going to really get into your glutes and work your hamstrings in particular. Then what we'll do is we're going to switch our foot position and go shoulder width with parallel feet. So this is going to transition everything and put the weight onto your quadriceps. Now we've lost the dumbbells, but we've increased the pace. So it's essentially your own body weight, but it's nice fast squats for this one. Let's take a rest break and repeat that last superset.
let's take a rest break and repeat that last superset. Combining a weighted glutes bridge and a plank for this exercise. So just lying down with your knees bent and the weight on top of your hips, we're going to lift up into a glutes bridge until you have a straight line from your knee all the way to your shoulder. And then we're going to release slowly until your tailbone touches the ground and we're going to keep the action going. We'll then turn around and work a prone plank. So you want to make sure that you've got good support underneath your elbows maintaining your straight line from your shoulder all the way to your ankle so that you're not dipping at your hips and just keeping even weight distribution between your elbow and the ball of your foot. Keep your core engaged and hold this position for the duration of the set. Now this is one of the only exercises where you can tuck your tailbone in a little bit if you like. That's going to give your back some protection and it's going to further engage your abs. Your turn to try this one. Yes, it's back. Yes, 
Russell's back, back, back again. Shady's back, tell a friend. Guess who's back? 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 Let's take a rest break and repeat that last super set. A dumbbell deadlift and isometric squat combination for this exercise, guys. So starting with your deadlifts, now you can see that we're going into what looks like a squat, but you're leaning forward as you do it. So we're bending the knees, we're using the quadriceps, we're using the glutes, but we're also using our back for this exercise. So drop down until the dumbbells are almost at the floor, and then when you lift up, we're separating the dumbbells and pulling our shoulders back, so really emphasizing the flexion in the back for this one. Then we're gonna switch hold just one of the dumbbells and go into an isometric squat. So with this one, you want to make sure that your feet are just a little wider than your shoulders. Your feet are nice and parallel, and then you're dropping down into that squat while maintaining vertical posture. Hold the dumbbell in place until the end of the set. <laughs> Yeah. 
Take a rest break and repeat that last superset. Take a rest break and repeat that last superset.
let's get together, maybe we can start a new phase The smoke's got the club all hazy, spotlights don't do justice, baby Why don't you come over here, you got me saying Hey, oh, I'm tired of using technology Why don't you sit down on top of me, hey, oh, I'm tired of using technology I need you right in front of me Russian twist and dumbbell abs tuck combination for this exercise. So starting with the Russian twist, you can see that my feet are lifted and I'm using my hips and lower abs to control my posture, basically. And then from here, it's a movement side to side. So just twisting around, making sure my obliques and intercostals are getting the job done. And you can see nice, steady, controlled movement. So I want you guys to really look for that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to switch it up, lie back down, and go into some abs tucks. So by keeping the dumbbell on your thigh, it's just going to weigh the whole thing down a little bit, so it's going to make it a little bit more challenging. You want to make sure that you pull your knees in as far as you can towards your chest, and then extend your legs all the way out until they're nice and straight. Your turn to try this combination. Let's take a rest break and repeat that last superset.
Let's take a rest break and repeat that last super set. Hips thruster and calves raise superset for this exercise. So starting with your hips thrusters, make sure you've got the dumbbell sitting at your hips and then we're going to lift all the way up until you hit a straight line from your knee to your shoulder and then dropping back down into that rested position. Now as you lift up, you're really squeezing your hamstring and glutes and your lower back and then trying to put a little pause at the top of it before you get back down into that seated position. We're going to then switch it up and work some calves raises. So standing up with your feet at shoulder width, your spine nice and neutral, we're going to lift all the way up to the ball of the foot, engaging those calves, putting a little pause at the top if we can, and then dropping back down until your feet are nice and flat. Let's have a go at this superset now.
Let's take a rest break and repeat that last superset. Let's take a rest break and repeat that last superset.
working some abs crunches by bringing the dumbbell to your chest and then lifting in a vertical line and lifting your head and shoulder blades until you're in that crunched position for this exercise. Make sure your knees are remaining bent and that your lower back is staying on the floor. Then we're going to change it up and work some abs rollovers. So start in that supine position, have your arms up holding that dumbbell and then it's a matter of throwing your legs up nice and straight until they get vertical or until they get close to your dumbbell and then slowly releasing it back into that horizontal position and then making sure you stop before your heels touch the ground. Now you can see I've got my shoulder blades and my head lifted which is going to further support my lower back and it's going to keep my lower back pinned against the floor. Your turn to try this combination. Let's take a rest break and repeat that last superset.
probably the hardest exercise you're going to do today for this one, guys. So we're going to do some dumbbell clean and jerks, and then we're going to combine it with some pulse squats. So starting with the clean and jerks, get into that deadlift starting position, and then I want you to lift all the way up, bring it to your shoulders, and go neutral grip, and then from there, we're going to push all the way up to a shoulder press. Now, when you return it, I want you to return it down nice and slow, and make sure you've got ample control over your weight, and then what we'll do is we're going to drop one of the dumbbells, pick up one of them in that goblet hand position, and then work your way down to a squat, and just hitting some pulses from here. So you're going to the bottom of the squat and just coming up marginally, and just maintaining that particular engagement of the quadriceps throughout this exercise. Your turn to try this combination. <laughs> Let's take a rest break and repeat that last superset.
Well done for getting through this challenging workout. Please take a few minutes to stretch and cool your body down before finishing. Comment and let us know what you thought of the workout and remember to subscribe for your daily workout fix.